trying to surviving Mars where we are currently embroiled in a battle with technology. We have a, a work, uh, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? An objective, an objective to try and get ourselves 40 bits of technology before Soul 100. I'm not, I'll be honest, I'm not 100% that we're going to be able to uh, do uh, this here, but we are working on some very important technologies. The one that I am particularly interested in right now is drone hubs. As soon as I get this bit of technology, we will have the ability to start spreading our influence further and further afield. But right now, right now, let's go and have a look at the curiosity. What is it doing? It's uh, scanning anomalies. And that's pretty good because I want to come out here. Let's just click on a random place to get rid of curiosity's little box here. And I want to start opening up everything that looks even slightly close so that we can start finding more little anomalies to go around and do some stuff with. Now, there are technologies that we have taken that has enabled a few of our rovers to go without battery power but I do not think, no, I do not think that it is actually Curiosity, our explorer, that has got that there. It is, in fact, the RC... No, that's the explorer. The uh, rover command AI. Rover RCs no longer need recharging. Starts with additional four drones and a command limit increased by 12. So th that's pretty good, whatever the command limit is. I don't know. How many commands you can give out in one go? Uh, mm, who knows? Who knows? We have uh, not built a drone assembler. We should probably get round to that at some point. But we're trying our best to increase the output of our metal refinery at the moment. I'm not seeing anything here that actually works up. Extract Extractor upgrade, increase production with 25, but also increase power consumption. I mean, it's pretty good. Let's, let's queue that one up on the end, and we'll suddenly have, like, power to worry. So the powers are gradually clean from dust when closed, resulting in less frequent maintenance. I'll take that as well. All right, cool. There's a whole bunch of stuff to research. We, we could probably do uh, like a few more of those, but right now that's looking pretty good. So I know I have made a little bit of a mistake here. You can see that my fuel stores, they're backing up. There's loads of fuel. It's all like souped up and ready to go, but we don't clucks outside the, the sphere of influence. I can't I can't actually get to him. Look, look, literally just outside. So we're going to have to use this little uh, RC rover dude here. Still no idea what to call him. And we're going to pull him down here and try and find ourselves a good spot to be able to get these guys. Is that uh, just a little bit Thank more maybe? A little bit more? Is that There we go. That's enough to start shuttling fuel back and forth. Can't get them from these places, but that's alright. The fuel supply should be pretty good. Let's have a look at what's going on in our polymer production here. We've just got one guy producing half a polymer per day that's fine over here we've got five people making nearly five machine parts per day uh and here 0.3 electronics per day ouch ah we could probably do something a little bit better with that but more importantly what's going on with our metal over here you can see we've increased to double shifts and there are people in here who don't want to be here let's have a look so this guy's lazy but that's all right uh you are a botanist you should be somewhere else you're a botanist you should be somewhere else scientist and geologist so geologist is in the right place Yay! We'll have to try and do something about that at some point. And also, at some point, we're going to have to try thinking about upgrading these uh, living quarters here. Uh, I think if I have a look inside the research, one of these, that one there, is about making apartments which uh, have more living space in them. Uh, and I'm not sure how we're going to go about doing that. Am I going to destroy one and have a bunch of homeless people for a little while? Or am I going to just build another dome somewhere and transfer people back and forth and make everything balance out in the end? I don't know. No, I don't know. I do know that we're going to have a decommission protocol, though. Soylent Green has been broken through. Well, bodies of dead colonists are converted into food. Mmm. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay with that. I think I think we'll be fine. Uh, we've got an empty slot. Is that is that what we want right now? Uh, this this is another one. Residents in the Arcology get a bonus to work performance based on the number of unique perks and specializations of colonists living in the Arcology. But we don't have access to the Arcology, so uh, I don't know why that's a thing. An Arcology is like a, a giant building that houses. It's like a city in a building, you know, city in a building. Uh, that's Martian University. I don't, I don't know which one I want to put on there. We're just gonna leave it. Ah, this is a problem. This is a problem. We got we got a pipe busted halfway down the line. Thankfully, we can get this guy. I'm, I'm hoping that if we come to the busted pipe, where was it? Here, that there'll be a little bit of metal scooting around for us to get. Is this metal over here? Maybe, maybe. We'll
we'll find out literally as this guy turns up. So let's uh, come on over here. How many drones does he have on board? He has four drones on board. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let's see what happens when he comes out. No metal anywhere. Okay, so what we need now is our transport, dude. Opportunity, of course. Uh, we're not doing too well on metals there. So let's have a look and see if we can find any lying around elsewhere. Oh, these are actually metals. We're just in the wrong place. Let's try and use... Ah, Let's try and use you coming along this way. Is that better? That's better. Okay, actually, that is a lot better. This guy's going to come down. He's going to grab a little bit of metal here. Let's let's watch him do his job. I love the way that they've got this little like backpack on their backs and they use their hands to throw stuff back there. And then, then it's just floating above them. They, they, had this, they had this beautiful thing of like a, an enclosed carry space and then they just go and ruin it by like floating icon above their head. Crazy crazy but is this gonna get fixed up right now right now we're gonna do it I, th I think it's getting very close i wish there was like a, a work done meter uh that should oh you needed to recharge that's a bit of a shame but that should it should give us some sort of feedback here about how far through it is and what what's going down and how far away i am from fixing it but no but no all right everything's looking a-ok -okay over here does this mean i've done my drone research now no it is the one that we are working on right as we speak let's go over to curiosity and see if we can find a node to pick for uh, okay maybe not uh, <laughs> everything else is just too far away so let's go and park you over here on your standard parking spot i'm a little surprised that these haven't been done yet <laughs> Fine, come along, do the thing that I'm talking about as I'm talking about it, see if I care. Uh, right, down here we want to go to storages, put another dump site down, one there, one there. Let's get let's get a few of those under, underway if we can. That should start moving everything around. I don't I don't know if it makes any difference. I'm not sure why I shouldn't have rocks piling up around. Is that is there a reason why? I don't know. I don't know, mate. If I figure it out, I'll let you guys know. Okay, we've got a flashing light. That means Clark is ready to go back. He's got all the fuel, no exports. Um, because we're not, we're not sending exports back. We need all the material ourselves, and everything seems ready to go. All right, Clark, off you go. Get out of here. I had enough of you. Go on. Be, be gone. Shh. Get, get off my planet. It's my planet now. All right, what else are we going to do here? I don't know. I don't know. Now that the most critical phase of the mission is behind us, we would argue it's a good time to start focusing on our mission evaluation goals. What are our mission evaluation goals? You have only 54 souls to complete your evaluation objective. Have 40 technologies at soul 100. Actually, we're doing all right. We're at 20 now. Yeah, this is this is going okay. Going okay. Not as well as it could be going. If we can get that drone hub out, we can start exploring other areas of Mars. Let's have a quick look around and see what it's saying here. Let's clear off a few more patches just in case there's more anomalies about. I think, yeah, this... this this is the, the best way to be doing it. Eventually, we're going to have this entire map uncovered. Do I need, like, a sensor tower over here? Can I make a sensor tower over here without having to worry too much about things? If I just kind of, like, pop it down. If I remember correctly, it doesn't actually need power or water, but we're, we're going to put it there just in case. Uh, what, what does it need? It needs an electronics. An electronics. Let's try and go to opportunity. If we can in here, I should be able to... Look at this, it's, it's giving me pick up or not location. Alright, uh, let's grab this, right click and electronics. I told it to pick up a couple there, I didn't actually need more than that. Uh, and let's bring that all the way over, over, over to here. And that should let, let, let our guys do the business. Uh, pipe leaks, one next to each other there, but hopefully the hub should have that covered. Should just be metal, right? Yeah, that is indeed just metal. No problem there. Uh, your power is doing well. All the ships have left, so I'm not that bothered. Uh, do we want to try and get extra materials? No, I think we're all right. The um, what's the word I'm looking for? The rare, rare. I keep saying earth elements, rare metals. That's the word. It's rare metals. Uh, you are waiting for more metal as well yourself. Let's have a look and see what's going. We are making 14 a day, so I'm not sure why that's not actually just chugging away and being a good. Why aren't you being a good, buddy? That 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 should be much better. Milestone achieved. Oh, we've had our first Martian born. Lovely, lovely. It took a little bit of time to get there. Is this the soul number? Oh no, that's 
what is this? How many points we get for it? I'm not, I'm not entirely sure what this number down the side here is. Uh, research a breakthrough. Evaluation is what we're on right now. Scandal sector is what we're working towards. And look at this. Thousand colonists construct a megadome. Yeah, we're, we're, we're definitely working on all of these. Definitely working. Let's, let's have a look. Have, have a look here. Daily production was 15. Hourly production 0.8. That's fine. Lifetime production is definitely... Why is the lifetime production not the same as the available deposit? Surely they should be exactly the same, right? You can't... Oh, no, that's how much we've made so far, maybe. I don't know. That, that's the thing. We have found a new anomaly, though, and this is what we're after. So, Curiosity, if you could get your, get your shiny metal ass over there. Thanks very much. Okay, so looking inside my colony overview, I notice we're doing all right for machine parts, but starting to work our way down on metals. So what I'm going to do is drop this down to middle priority, so it doesn't take priority over all the other things that need to get some metals, and that should hopefully work out okay for us. Now, these all have stored oxygen 100. That's also pretty good. I don't like the way that this is just connected in one place, but I think we're going to have to make do with it now. What are you waiting for? You're waiting... No, you are waiting for a one metal. Tool. Ah, drone hub is done. All right, cool. What do we need for this? Let's have a look. Uh, 12 metal and 8 eight uh, electronics. That's a lot of electronics right there. I would also like to place you here. Enough overlap. I kind of feel like I want to get... You see up here we've got the universal storage depots. I kind of feel like we want to have that connected something like that that i think there is probably the best place to put it and away they go now electronics are one of the things we're running pretty short of but i think that's all right breakthrough alien imprints Ooh, but let's have a look at where this other um thing that we're supposed to be looking at is uh, the anomaly so you're up there you can come down and scan that out that's pretty good let's have a look at our tech right now look at that uncovers new anomaly alien artifacts which prove to boost to all research when scanned uh, harder is to believe our observations suggest that life, intelligent life has visited Mars long ago and that the remnants of these visits could still be here. These artifacts could help us improve, expand, and understand our universe. Ooh, we'll get to that at some point. Uh, more low-cost tech. That's what we're after. Low-cost tech. It, it needs to be a thing. Needs to be a thing. Okay, so we've got some more... Ooh, where are you going? You just you just hit the Earth over here. Well, hit hit the Mars. Sorry, hit the Earth. No. Uh, let's go one, two, three. Oh, well, we can't do all three, but then we did those. That's looking pretty good. Okay, let's have a look down here. Building's not working. One, two, three. Mm, that third one was not one I was expecting, but we can live with that. Metals and electronics are low. That's fine. That's just going to take some time. Have we got a dust storm kicking in? Or is it just night time? Is it just night time? Uh, research complete. Drone hub. Didn't want to be back in here. Thanks, though. Um, breakthrough dis discovered alien implants. All right. We'll just know that that is a thing. Malfunctioning cable. Last problem to be dealt with. Uh, and our drone is doing it. All right, cool. Awesome. I, th I think we've, we've done everything. Oh, look. New breakthrough discovered. Cryo sleep. Passenger rockets carry 20 more. Uh, like, that, that's all good. But I'm really... I've got other problems than trying to get colonists inside my camp. Wowee. So all the electronic components got delivered, but we are indeed waiting for that single bit of metals. Uh, I say single, 12 bit of metals. And that's going to take an entire day to make. And that is if nothing else usurps the power. Uh, let's turn this up here. Uh, the materials, the power. You, you guys know what I'm trying to say here. Let's go uh, to a actual power. Whilst, whilst we're talking about power, let's deal with it. Let's go there and then up to in there. I'd really like to get rid of... Can I get rid of that? Thanks. This this little single single bit here, but it turns out I can't even select it. Uh, let's get rid of that. How about now? Nope. Nope. It's not it's not allowed. Not allowed. I can I can select these ones down here. Can't select anything over here. Your game's broken, paradox. Suddenly no drones because of a cable fault. What? T -t -t Say again. Why are we suddenly losing six something an hour? What's going on with that? All right, let's turn this one down to normal and see if the, this coming along and fixing stuff does anything. Oh man, that's a, it's a little bit, little bit unsettling when suddenly you get everything shut down for no particular reason or none that you can see anyway. Oh man, look at these drones go. They're like, nom, 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 nom. Whilst we're at it, the, uh, not these ones, these ones over here, because they're far enough away from anything, I think I'm going to open them up. I, I don't think they're going to take any more problems if we just open them up and get some extra power flowing. Now, these ones over here, I was kind of expecting these to have been finished by now, if I'm to be honest with you. These, uh, these, uh, what are they called? Concrete extractors. Yes, indeed. I was expecting them to be done by now, as we are 
Oh, we've barely got through it, but we've been using a lot of concrete. A lot of concrete. I'm going to turn this one off because I would like this to get cleared first and we can start thinking about where things are going to go. It turns out there might even be place for another concrete extractor when all of these get dealt with I don't, I don't know but anyway turning that off will save us power if nothing else and over here we've got ourselves stop pressing buttons at the same time uh keep that camera view that i'm looking for here is this all metal over here of course it's all metals we really really need to get that extra metal production down uh, which is uh almost entirely dependent on this drone Hub. Wow, look at the shiny bits. Look at the shiny bits. Oh, that's a nice touch, though, the fact that they've gone and done that. There would, of course, always be a bit reflecting back at you somewhere. If I move over here, does, does it change? It does change relative to my position as well as the sun's position. Man, those guys are smart that did this. Absolute geniuses. Okay, Opportunity, you are going to come and save the day here. I want you to come and grab this rock here, and then we're going to take all the, the metal here. How much is it? 19. We're going to take all 19 over down to here, which will actually be more than enough for what we're after. Magnetic filtering has just been done, and everything else is kind of okay. Malfunctioning pipes uh, is in the middle of town. I don't mind about that. Magnetic filtering needs to be replaced with... One time grant of a thousand fundings. I'm not that bothered about that right now. I know that's like cheap science, but we're gonna we're gonna move on to live from Mars because that will get us some more candidates there. Yes, that's what we're after. Does it tell us how many we've got here? I don't want to count. I don't want that would be boring. I don't, don't make me count. Uh, okay, building's not working. One, two, one, two, one, two. We'll work on that. Low on resource electronics. Also going to get worked on manu uh, malfunctioning cables. Both getting fixed. That's fine. And then these buildings are not working. We have been told about before. Okay, cool. I will bring you back when we've got ourselves some more metals. Oh, actually, are you still doing? You're still doing. Okay, opportunity coming across here to uh, come and drop stuff uh, down, hopefully. Yep, yeah, metal is going on the side. We've got an electronics component there. That's a, that's a, an interesting one. I didn't actually expect to have that there. Are you guys actually don't taking it else? What? Mm -mm. Don't do that. Okay, cool. That electronics have been taken back, and suddenly, bam, everything starts to work. All right, cool. Should we get ourselves another dome down, or should we uh, put... Actually, let's have a look. Production metal extractor. This is what we want. Too far away from domes. I mean, that's fine, I suppose. I would kind of like to have dealt with that. So let's come in here and om nom 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 our way up here. Uh, and then we'll start thinking about how we're going to get a solely metal-producing dome down yes yes indeed is there anywhere else we can do stuff like that i'm not i'm not seeing it at the moment let's zoom out and see if there's any other anomalies nearby there's not so i'm just going to park this guy over here with these ones go Okay, I'm guessing this hexagon is something to do with how far they can go to travel to work. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. But either way, I'm going to put it in like that. I think that's a good place for the dome. And now all these guys should run around and do some business. Do, do, they, do they need metal here? Of course they need metal here. So let's use opportunity to just offload a bunch of resources. Hopefully the drones will come along and do some business. There. No, no, no. Over here, offload. Thanks. Uh, click and then right click. Um, we should be able to go to production metal extractor this is what we need just just one like that 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 will work out a-okay for me it's gonna take a little bit of time to make this as as you would expect hmm, this sterling generator doesn't look like it's working on heat exchange i got i gotta say like sterling generators are all about the expansion of air when it warms up and then it uses that to drive the piston back and forth and then there's a heating and cooling cycle either side of the piston and it uses the expansion and co cooling to move the piston up and down Resources this doesn't look anything like that if anything this looks almost tesla coilish and I like that i know that's not a power production system but uh i, I feel like they've been trying to make it look like that crazy crazy all right so let's have a look at things that need to be kept on top of so down here hourly production 12 total demand 0 0.8 so i feel like we can definitely just drag this line down here it's going to be vulnerable compared to the more robust system up top there but i think Research we'll be a-okay let's go all the way across like this extractor amplification done so uh so we're gonna have power issues right i, I believe that's going to be how this works let's have a look hourly production 182 total demand 152 okay we're doing pretty well we could definitely do with a more Sector power scan. though Sect sectors have been scanned nice okay let's have a look any anomalies no anomalies 
anomalies. Okay, so following this line, let's just take power up and across. That actually, no, let's let's not do that. That that's silly. That's just like ultimate wastage. Let's uh, let's clear all this before the drones get in and do it. Uh, and hopefully, there we go. Uh, we can power, power, power here, power cable. <laughs> I know, I know what I'm doing. And we'll go up along this way and come in like this. Okay, that that's much better. It doesn't matter too much with the pipe because this diagonal pipe was still in place. So whether it goes that way or that way, it's the same amount of extra pipe being put down. But cable, this is the first time we put cable down. So that's going to be something to bear in mind there. Look at this though. The, the guys are really like pushing it out and br bringing, bringing the build home. I love it. I love it. So I'm looking at our storage systems here. Obviously, we have no problem with concrete, no problem with food. Uh, metal is... Uh, what, what are these ones next to it? Are these the electronic components? Are these the uh, machine parts, maybe? Those are polymers, definitely. Let's have a look. Maybe they're rare metals. Metals and rare metals. And it's polymers, electronics, machine parts, fuel. Yeah, actually, that you read down as you read right to left. Okay, that, that that's fine. We can do with that. Deal with that, indeed. I'm not worried about the, the base metals. Not worried about their production at all. Well, a little bit about the actual metal, but not really worried about that. These other ones, though, I am kind of worried about. So we need to try and get our electronics and machine parts. <laughs> Maybe even polymers ticking over a little bit better. Um, I'm not sure how we're going to do that. I feel like this base is too too diverse, if you will. Like the fact that we're making polymers here, I, I kind of feel like is a travesty. Maybe when we get another polymer, in fact, should we should we do that here? Get another polymer station set up, and then this can be metals and polymers, and then this can be metals and rare metals. Yeah, yeah, okay, all right, yeah, that, that, that definitely works out in my brain a lot better. I don't know about you guys, but it works for me. But I think with that, I'm gonna have to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you next time. Sorry, We're gonna work on Dome 2 uh, Sensei? Sensei? Maybe? I, I don't know. I will try and figure out um, it, it, No, Nisai, Nisai. Um, we, We'll figure that out anyway in the next episode But I will see you then When we're gonna do that It's being built 